This is a short demo of some of the policies that Brooklyn includes. This was shown at the ApacheCon Europe event in November 2014, and you can see the rest of the presentation using the links in the description of this video. The Restart Our Policy is attached to an entity, in this case for JBoss. Here we can see that the entity has the Restart Policy attached. If the entity detects that the software process has failed, the policy will restart the entity by invoking the launch phase again. This should start the software process running again. For example, if I log into this machine and kill the Java process that is running JBoss, you will see the policy do its work and a few seconds later, the JBoss process has been restarted and the node appears healthy again. If the restart does not work, and the entity detects another failure within a certain time period, then the policy decides that the node has fundamental problems and records the entity status as failed. Then the operator, or a higher level policy, must take action. The replacer policy is an example of such a higher level policy that would take over actions if the restarter policy is unable to restore the entity to health. The replacer policy is attached to a cluster and if one of the members of the cluster is unhealthy, it will replace the member with a new one. To demonstrate, I will once again kill the JBoss process. As this node has failed once before, this time the restarter policy will decide that the node has failed. This is shown in Brooklyn with an on fire icon. Immediately, we see that the replacer policy has detected this failure and added a new member to the cluster. Once the new member has started and is healthy, then the failed node is shut down. Alternatively, Brooklyn can be configured to quarantine the failed node so that it is not shut down, but it is removed from the load balancer. This allows an operator to diagnose the reason for the failure. Finally, we will take a look at the autoscaler policy. This policy attaches to a cluster and attempts to always ensure that the cluster has enough members to meet demand. To work, it requires a sensor that provides information about the load on the cluster and either adds more members to the cluster or removes members to try and keep the sensor in a normal range. The simplest metric for a web server is requests per second. This sensor here takes a rolling average of the requests per second across the whole cluster. The policy is configured to try and keep this value between 2 and 10. I've made these bounds deliberately small to make it quick to show the policy responding. I will start a loading test on the cluster. We can see that the metric is increasing, and when it exceeds the upper bound, a new node appears. Likewise, when demand drops and the sensor falls below the lower bound, the policy will remove a node from the cluster. This will save costs.